this video, we are going to see how we can analyze inventory using ABC analysis. We have information about uh, the different hardware items, their unit of measurement, the quantity, the purchase price, and then the selling price. And we have been required to advise on the most and least valuable hardware items using ABC analysis. Now, ABC analysis is a technique that categorizes inventory items into three groups based on their relative importance to a business. These groups are typically labeled A, B, and C. With the A items being the most valuable and C items being the least valuable. How do we categorize the inventory items into these three categories? To apply, to apply the ABC analysis, what you have to do, you need to first of all calculate the inventory value of each item. How would you calculate the inventory value of each item? You have to multiply the quantity used by the unity purchase price. So we shall start by getting the inventory value of each hardware item. So inventory value. That is insurance. And we get uh, the quantity of each hardware item times the purchasing price. Of course, I will get for all the hardware items and what we have as the inventory value for each hardware item. The total inventory value for all the items we have, we have to get that total. That is, uh, let me sum up the inventory value for all the items we have. And that gives us 373 million 55,000. That is the inventory value for each hardware item and then the total. And what we have to do, we have to get, uh, we have to express this inventory value as a percentage. So percentage value, percentage inventory value, percentage inventory value. Let us get the percentage inventory percentage inventory value. We want to express the inventory value of each hardware item as a percentage of the inventory value. Meaning that I have to get the inventory value of a hardware item over the total inventory value. Over the total, over the total inventory value. But we have to express this as a percentage. So cement the inventory value of cement represents 12.55% of the total inventory value of all the hardware items. So that is our percentage inventory value. So that, those are the percentage inventory value of each hardware item out of the total inventory value of all the items. Now what I will do when we are using this FBC analysis we have to arrange we have to arrange the items according to their inventory value so we can start with uh, the items with the largest inventory value up to the lowest inventory value so i'm going to sort uh, i'm going to sort uh, these items i'm going to sort these items based on their inventory value I'm going to sort them based on their inventory value. So I'll sort by inventory value that is column I. And I want to sort from the largest to the smallest. When you sort or when you order them according to the largest from the smallest, from the largest to the smallest, you see that roofing nails uh, they have the highest, followed by underfoot. 
that is underfoot mud, followed by underfoot paint. This is not paint. Underfoot paint, followed by underfoot paint, followed by nails 2.5 inches, 3, 4, 5, and 6, followed by cement. So we are, I have to their inventory value from the largest to the smallest. But remember, we have three categories that is category B and then category C. So the next step now is to get the cumulative. Are the cumulative percentage and get the cumulative percentage uh, before I class need the cumulative percentage the percentage the cumulative percentage the percentage yeah, that is our cumulative percentage. Now, class, let us see our class, class, let us see the class, what falls under class A, what falls under class B, and then what falls under class C. So, class. Now, according to the ABC analysis, as we have seen, or as I already told you, that uh, the inventory items are grouped into three categories. We have category A. Now, the items in category A, you will see that they generate the most amount of cells, but also constitute the smallest set of stock. Now, these items represent 70% of the total inventory value. They represent 70% of the total inventory value. Of course, these are the items that are given the highest security when you look at most of the warehouses items that fall under item A or under category A, they give them security. Now according to the information we have, what falls under category A? Of course you see that uh, the cumulative percentage inventory value. So roofing nails, they fall under category A. Don't forget that they even have Inventory value followed by underfoot. That is category A. Cement falls in category A. Plain iron sheet falls in category A. Then nails inch one and inch category A. Why am I showing all these? Why am I uh, presenting them or classing them as category A? Because you see that from the cumulative percentage. Nails inch one and inch two, the cumulative percentage is 70 at that hardware item, meaning that all the hardware items are above, including nails inch one and inch two, they all fall under category A because when we look at all those items, they represent their values represent 70% of the total inventory value. So all those are under category A. Then category B. What are category B items? Now these items uh, generate a medium amount of sales and profits while constituting uh, a bigger set of stock than item S. Of course they represent 20%. They represent 20% of the total inventory value. They represent 20% of the total inventory, total inventory value. So meaning that uh, uh, acidic paint, now that falls under category B. Iron bar size 10, that falls under category B. Uh, iron bar size 12, that also falls under category B. That is uh, the next 20%. Because now from 70.17 to 89.88, 89.88, that is approximately 90%. So the 70% that is category A. Now the next print percent that is category B and that is uh, acidic paint, iron bar size 10, iron bar size 0. Uh, those fall under category B. Now category C or item C. Now category C, those are the items that give 
uh, that give the smallest inventory value. In fact, for them, they represent 10% of the inventory total value. But you find that uh, you'll be having a lot of these items. You'll be having a lot of these items. And you, you will realize that for them, they don't sell very well. This means that uh, if there is a lot of demand for these items, they will be hanging around in inventory for some time. So they represent 10% of the inventory total value. And in this case, that is weather guard paint, that is category C. Then the plain iron sheets gauge 30, they also fall at category C. So we have grouped these hardware items uh, according to ABC analysis, as you can see. Those are the three categories. We have those in category A, category B, and then those in category B, category C. Now you have been required to advise management on the most least, on the most and the least valuable hardware items using the ABC analysis. So as I'm advising, of course, I will say that according to the FDC analysis, the roofing nails, underfoot paint, nails 2.5, 3, 4, 5, and 6, cement, plain iron sheets, gauge 32, nails 1 and 2, those are the most valuable hardware items. Then the least valuable hardware items, that is weather guard. That is weather guard paint and you play iron sheets gauge 30. Those are the most, sorry, those are the least valuable hardware items using the ABC analysis. So, of course, now this information can be used to optimize inventory management, improve purchasing decisions, and allocate resources more effectively. Thank you for watching. I remain your tutor, Simia Huntington. Bye-bye.